We made it through our first night. We're in northern Arizona, just a couple miles north of Flagstaff. We found this nice little forest area. We're making breakfast right now. I attempted to make breakfast this morning by putting some bell peppers in with a can of tomatoes, but turns out it was crushed tomatoes in puree, so it turned out to be more of a sauce. So then I decided I'll add some potatoes. Well, I'm not very good at cooking, so we decided he will do all the cooking and I will do all the cleaning. It's been two hours since I attempted to make breakfast and now it's finally salvaged. Bon appetit! <laughs> second campsite. It's just outside of Zion. Um, we had to go through the back side of Zion to get here, but there's pretty good tree coverage and we're on this really awesome lake. So there's quite a few spots um, like scattered along, but it's pretty private, pretty quiet. We could get to it in this, so not too rough of roads. Only complaint is there's a lot of mosquitoes right now, but we've got a citronella going and hope for the best. Are you kidding? What is that, eight of them? night was pretty chilly but the worst part is that there was a skunk at our tent like all night pouncing its little head in and then Stella kept waking up and looking around for it so we didn't know what it was but thankfully it was just a skunk um, and it didn't spray at all but it did hang out for a while and <laughs> caused her to stay up and growl and caused us to stay up so now it's eight and we just woke up I guess we've been waking up at like six. Oh. But she got attacked by mosquitoes last night, so we had to put her in the car and then straight from the car to the tent. But her wants have gone down. But I was just kind of weary of going and like letting her out um, into the outside in case she gets bit up again because it was out. This was perfectly still and now there's waves and some white caps. So the wind is obviously picking up. Um, our campsite is just up that hill. But yeah, because of that, the wind, the mosquitoes, and also we don't have that much water, we are probably gonna head out today and go up north a little bit towards the
leaving that spot, we ended up, um, there was a sign that said Cedar City 24 miles away. So we ended up taking that and just hoping for the best because we only had like, I mean, we had a little less than a half a tank, but it was all dirt winding roads. So we just want to be sure. So we went to Cedar City, which was a pretty established little town. And then once we had service, we were able to find a new spot called Upper Kent's Lake and it is gorgeous. We're at this like dispersed camping area. It is still a little windy, but that's just kind of Utah right now. How gorgeous and we're the only people around. So it's all dispersed camping. So, that's so where... this is our little spot. Um, it actually is 7.30 p.m. right now and the sun is still all the way up there. So we've got quite a good time this is our little fire pit area and pot. We're making dinner right now. Um, it's like a chili from my screwed up breakfast the other day. And then this is the campsite. Stella is in there because she's scared of the wind. But yeah, lots of aspen, really nice coverage, tons and tons of space. It is pretty loud in here, but the wind is supposed to subside around 8 p.m. So. Hopefully that comes sooner than later. Got our little entryway. We are in bear country, so we'll load up the car and drive it maybe up there, down there, um, with all of our food and stuff so we don't attract any bears. But we also have this, uh, just in case. This is bear spray, a bear horn, and then a gun and an extra clip. So hopefully we don't have any problems, but just in case, we shall stay safe. Stay safe. All right, so we ran out of propane. We had an extra canister of propane for our propane stove, but it didn't fit into our propane stove. So we built a fire to finish our dinner because it was not even halfway finished. So we threw our uh, little, what is this called again? Dutch oven. A Dutch oven <laughs> on the fire we just made. I built a nice wall to protect it from the wind. Um, it's just a nice jambalaya, some zucchini, ground turkey, a bunch of fish and spinach in there. Just let it cook down and then, yeah, another cooking event. It's 8.30 and the sun is still up. boy he's going out to gather mud so that he can make this a more sound structure he's doing a really good job of preventing the wind from coming in thus far Wednesday morning it's about 9 30 a.m. we just brought the car back over, unloaded everything. Um, since we're in bear country, I guess, we have to load everything up and drive the car farther away from our tent just to stay safe, I guess. So we just gave ourselves um, showers, just cleaned up the best we could, and then um, made a little fire, reheating dinner from last night. And then it seems like it should be pretty windless and clear today. So we'll probably do some fishing Relaxing, set up the hammock. <laughs> she likes to just relax in here. This is too cold outside for her. All right, so I went around this little lake, just try to go fishing and whatnot, check out some wildlife, and I found an egg on the way. I don't think it's good, but I'm gonna check it out. Ooh, this doesn't feel good. No. Oh, oh, I think it's good. Oh, it was good. Darn it. 
fuck? <laughs> I don't know, that doesn't look good. Stuck it. Thursday, June 18th, it's about 11.30 in the morning. We just finished making breakfast. Well, he just finished making breakfast. We have um, sauteed potatoes, bell peppers, zucchini, and eggs. And then he also has corn meat hash. It's a beautiful sunny day. It's still a little chilly, but not too much wind. The sun feels really nice. We got really lucky in seeing so many moms with their little baby birds. Um, these are, I think, Canadian geese. And this group to the right has three little, little babies. And then that one to the left has been the teens. So I'm trying to get close so I can get them on video, but I don't think it's going to work very well. But we shall see. Yeah. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> <laughs> no. 